Hi, so I've been asked a few times about a foot splash for my splash pad. So this is a fairly adaptable system. So I've adapted one of the splashes here pretty quickly to be a foot splash. I just grabbed a small splash, which you'll find here. I made a copy of it. I grabbed the spawn by overlap tool, select, drag it in there. Uh, the main setting that I changed was random rotation. So I switched, this will be default by one. I switched that to zero. So I've put an animation here from Mixamo and I just grabbed a cube and put that on his foot. I've applied a matte material to that. I'll just show you the collisions there so you can see. And then you may notice some of these splashes have like a crown followed by a tower type of shape. So that tower shape will intersect with the foot. So the main thing I needed to do was come in here and go to the opacities and the refraction. And you'll find values to be like way out here. Just drag, uh, sorry grab, shift, drag, and move that to an earlier point in time so that the splash fades out before the tower, so that the tower does not intersect with the foot. That's the main thing. There's one other detail is you might need to just fiddle around or just follow or just copy these settings for the collision and the overlaps, and you should be good. And that's it, or oh, that's 90% of it. I just did, wanted to do a little bit of tweaking as well to the drop sizes. Now the defaults didn't actually, weren't bad, they're actually pretty good and work pretty well with the smaller splash, but I still wanted to experiment. So to access those drop scales which are on the material I just created a node and accessed the parameter here and then created a like blueprint parameter and this is the same as the material and I just made the white water drop scale a bit bigger just a subtle difference don't really need to do that now was there anything else yes yes okay so I think this can kind of work well if it's like a um, like a close up or if it's a cinematic shot or especially if you need slow motion for any reason because this has got like obviously like full animation full deformation etc like that so this is uh you know this is, it's got all the the detail and the movement and everything like that but if it is not like filling up a lot of the screen if each individual splash is not taking up a lot of time and attention like if it's like the characters running and there's motion blur and there's all this stuff happening you may not notice all the, that detail so if you don't need that detail there's actually a splash available online for free so you can download the files here now the main thing you'll need to do to change this is Put that in an anim notify. Yeah, so I mean, there's different ways to do this, but I've found this to be the best way for kind of like non detailed character footstep splashes. Unfortunately, I can't share that work because that was for a client. But if you look into tutorials like this, I would recommend this way to go for like standard gameplay. And just to kind of cover that quickly, just I won't cover every step, but just to cover the idea, you could make a uh, Niagara system, just a very simple Niagara system. You could get this splash for free. You could use a mesh renderer. You could then put that into your, oops, your Anim Notify system. And I think the other main aspect would be setting like a physics material. So you'd ha have a setup where you'd be able to 
say, okay, if this is like water, this would have like a water physics material. And if this is land, this is a land physics material. So that would enable the system to splash on the water and not on the land and stuff like that. Um, again, I'm not going to go into every step, but I'm just saying that there are, there is a free option out there for simple, like non-detailed splashes, but otherwise, please do feel free to go ahead and yeah, modify one from the splash pack. Cool. Thank you.